Welcome everyone to our next lesson in the Red Strike Train Up sessions. I'm Eve, the designer of Red Strike, and in this video we will be covering missile warfare. I have chosen the well known Fulda Gap scenario to show these missiles. We have three different missile units. We have this one, we have this one, and we have and we have this one. These three units, when we flip them, we know what kind of missile types these are. It's important for the probability of hitting a target. And of course also the range. I'll explain the counter right now. So these are SS-21s, these are the Scots, and these are 22B missiles. The range of all of these units is printed on the, on the counter. That's the 4, the black 4 in the yellow box. So this unit has a range of 4, this has a range of 10. The targets of these guys will be a ground unit, a headquarter in Wooded Rough Hex, and a headquarter in an urban city. And we will also try to hit one of these lovely air bases of the US Air Force or the Bundesluftwaffe. Let's start with these guys. SS-21s, range of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so they could hit this ground unit. The second thing we do is we check which missile it is, and then we will call up the missile table to see what is the probability of hitting a ground unit. So this is the missile warhead and hit table that we are going to consult now. NATO unit, Warsaw Pact missiles, and we have said it's the SS-21, that's this one. This is the row that is going to be interesting to us. We cross-reference that with the target type. The target type is an assault ground unit. And we are using high explosives. It's a 72% chance of hitting. And target is a ground unit. And it has not been reconnoitered. That's for another video, I will explain to you. This missile shot suffers a DRM of plus 20. So indeed we have to roll 52 or less on a D100. Let's roll. 59. That's a miss. So now we have used up one of the three missile shots each ground missile unit in the game has. So we have used one. Now this unit could shoot again right now. It could use the three salvos at one time. So it's not really one missile that's shot, it's a missile, it's a salvo. So you could shoot again right now, or he could wait for another action stage where he's eligible to shoot. In this case we'll leave it like that, and he will wait for the next opportunity to shoot at this ground unit. Next shot will be this check unit on this headquarter in the wooded rough terrain, whereas the wooded rough terrain will not make a difference for the missile shot. What will make a difference is the type of the Missile, it's an SS-1C, that's the SCUD. We will check on the missile table. SCUD, this is the line that's going to be interesting to us. It's a headquarter, that's the target type down here. We cross-reference with high explosives, 32. As it is a mobile unit and it is a small target, we have a very low probability from the start, but more difficult because we have a penalty of plus 20 on the die roll. So we will have to roll a 12 or less to hit this headquarter. And of course you would probably never do that in real life. You would at least make an air recon before you do this. But in this case we will try it our luck. 22, so it's more than 12. It's a miss. And we show that the unit has saved. And we show that the unit has used up one salvo of missiles. The third example is going to be this unit, it's 33 hexes, so it's all off the map, that's fine. With this unit we are going to try two different targets. The first salvo will be for this headquarter in Frankfurt, and the second salvo will be for Pferzfeld, an airbase here. What type of missile is it? It's a 22B, we will check on the missile table, 22B. First target is a headquarter again, it's in this column. 
54 would be the probability, but we have not reconnoitered the target before, so we have a plus 20 DRM penalty. So you have to roll 34 or less, and we will do that right now. 34, no, again a miss. We will show that it has used up one of its salvos. But what comes more is, we shot at a urban hex. This will move the world opinion one space in favor of NATO, as missile usage against urban hexes is not very nice. But about world opinion we will talk in another video. So as I said, you can use salvos in each action stage that you are eligible to move, or you can use them all in one stance. So in this case we are going to use it now. It has three salvos it could use. We are using the second one on this airbase. It's still the SS-22. We are still going to use high explosive warheads. The target is, in this case, it's an airbase. So it's much easier to target an airbase than a mobile unit. As you can see, we have a probability of 81. We did not reconnoiter the target, but it's not a mobile target. It's not a ground unit, PFC. So there is no DRM. Let's see if we can get, get this. If we can get a hit. No! <laughs> So 81% even 81 probability is not ensuring that you hit your target. So, but now this time I will try the third one too. The third salvo will be the last salvo for this unit. It has spent all of its stocks and it will be taken off the map. And we will try again. As said, it's 81% chance. <laughs> 89. So for those who know me, that's quite normal for my die rolls. So, the missile unit is out of missiles, out of the game, with zero hits on everything it targeted. And that's all, folks.